Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira administration tutorial, I'm going to discuss about permissions within Jira. Now permissions is a very vast topic within Jira certification and interviews. And if you are going ahead and building your Jira administration skills, you need to understand permissions really in detail. So what we'll do in this particular video, we'll understand the overview of permission, how things are structured and at, at what level things are controlled through permissions, what exactly permissions are and the broad classification of permissions so permissions within jira what they do is they control or provide a layer of security okay so when we say control so who can access which project who can do what in that particular project right so that's level of control and the access to a particular project so using the permissions at different levels administrators can restrict the people or the users within jira if they are able to access something or do something within a project or not okay so that's a high level overview of what permissions are within jira now permissions are at the different levels okay so permission if we talk about will be so broadly we can say permission at the org level okay so when we say org level in jira cloud for example ibm okay ibm global okay so that's one of the you know global organization and then they'll have different branches across the world right so in us australia uk and each of these say for example have different products okay jira products so, so it has jira confluence and then this one just needs jira so they have just jira so basically org admin okay so permission can be at different levels so admin at the org level can do different things at the org level okay so permission are at different levels so first level is basically the org level okay the second level is at the product level all right so product the third is at the project okay and then at the issues so broadly you can say you know at the org level admin can do something at the product level administrators can do certain actions at the project level and at the issues level okay now permissions is vast but broadly we are just trying to classify them into different groups so at the organization level you have permissions at the product level you have permission at the project level you have permission at the issues level you can also have the permissions to restrict which issues can be or what users can do on those particular issues now if we talk about the organization level admins can manage the product access okay so they can say okay who will have access to what so product access then administrators can also manage users and group right so they can add users they can add groups okay so these things they can do then if we talk about the project level the administrators at the project level can manage global permissions okay so global permissions will discuss and then at the project level admin can manage project permissions broadly okay so project permissions and then issue uh, admin can manage at the issues level as well so they can restrict certain actions on on the issues at the issue level as well so as a jira administrator you need to be learning a lot more about the global permission and the project permission so let's quickly go ahead and see what will come in the global permission so basically at the product level global permission at the project level uh, the admin can manage users access to it. at the project level admin can manage users access level or the issues okay now if we talk about say further about the major differences between the global and project permissions so global permission is system wide okay so it's as the name suggests is global right and the project permission is project specific all right so that's the key difference so on a high level we can say that permissions are at different levels so at the org level all right you, the permissions are controlled at the product level at the project level at the issue level all right now as a jira admin you need to understand more around global permissions and the project permissions now global permissions control system wide and project permission are specific to projects now let's go to the jira and understand the different permission so as i am the org admin as well so if you go to the settings here how you can differentiate basically so in the if you get this atlassian admin that means you are the org admin as well and you will see that if you see the user management basically the org admin can add users group and manage access requests right so this is at the org level okay so permissions at the org level uh, or what org admin can go ahead and do so they can manage users and create groups or add users to those group create groups edit groups etc okay 
So you'll see that we have different groups and this is only possible if you are the org admin. Now, once you go to the product, okay, so for example, here we go and go to settings again. So now he, we are into the Jira, into the product, okay. So you'll see that here, if you go to the system, you have the global permission. So if you go to the system as a Jira admin, you will see you will get different global permissions, right, which we need to understand a lot more in detail because as a Jira admin, you'll be working a lot with the global permission and the project permissions as well. So as a Jira admin, if you go to the global permissions, you will see what all permissions are by default there. So these permissions apply to all projects, right? So these are global, they are system wide. They are independent of project specific permission, as I mentioned. So global permission is specific, system wide. Project specific permission is project specific. So project A will have a specific project permission. Project B will have a specific project permission. If you change project permission in project B, this is not going to impact project A. But global permission, if you change here, that is going to impact all the projects that are there and people will have those permission across the project okay so you will see that uh, in the global permissions administer jira is one of the global permission which is basically create and administer project issue type field workflows etc so if you assign this administer jira prod permission global permission to someone they will be able to administer this particular jira product right then browse users and group is another global permission share dashboard manage group filter subscription make bulk changes and then create team manage projects all right so these are the high level global permissions available in the system system wide now if you go to a specific project right so you'll see the project permission as well so if we go to the rcv app demo project here you will see the project permission and a project admin can work on the can see basically so if you go to the project settings right as an admin you can work on these project permissions here you will see the permissions and there are a lot of project permissions but we'll cover some of the very important and key ones so here you will see that these are the project permission which are specific to this particular project rcv app demo so if you change say for example browse projects permission so ability to browse projects and the issues within so if somebody needs access to this particular project or wants to browse the issues they need to be in the browse project permission of this particular project or this particular group or role they need to be there so that only then they'll be able to browse the product uh, browse this this particular product uh, project okay then administer project is basically for the project administrator right so this is project administrator permission who is allowed to administer this project rcv app demo manage sprint who will be able to manage the sprints so you'll see in the right hand side you have different roles atlassian add-on project access and then application access any logged in user all right so anyone who is logged in will be able to manage sprint if you want to restrict you can create a a new group or have a group of users and then associate them accordingly and that's where project permissions come in picture right so you can control these through the users you can add uh, the individual users groups or project roles specifically for against these permissions and those people those group of users will be only allowed to have this particular access for example view development tool if you do not want everyone to any logged in user to have access to this you can just have the group of developers add the users to those to that particular group and add the group in here in this particular view development tool permission right so how you are going to edit it so if you go to the edit permission it will basically allow you to update or remove the permission accordingly then you have the issue permissions right so i discussed about the project permission and the issue permissions as well so for the issue you have different issue level permissions permissions as well that will be applicable within the project so a lot of permissions voters and watcher permissions comment permission who can add comment delete comment etc who can do the attachments so attachment permission these are all at the project level time tracking permissions right so key thing to remember here is that you just need to go ahead within the project and understand what all different high level broader category of permissions are at the project level at the global level right and then how we are going to manage it we'll understand all of it in detail in detailed permissions video as we go along with the syllabus of jira administration certification okay so that's broad classification of permissions and how it's all classified global project 
right and at different level permissions are there so org level product level right so at product level the person will be able to manage the global permission right which i am doing at the moment basically this is the project permission but at the global level as well i can go ahead and the system level i can manage the global permissions for this particular whole instance of jira wherein if there are multiple projects as well i can these permission will take effect broadly you will see only five or six global permissions are there okay and then at the project level you have multiple permissions at the project level so that's basically around the overview of permissions within jira we'll deep dive into these in upcoming videos but as of now this was the refresher of the key components of jira admin in the detailed videos i'll cover each and every thing in very so i hope this was helpful thank you very much see you in the next lecture